In February 2023, my brother Adrian and I paddled 31 kilometers on a kayak up and down Townsville's Ross River, from Aplin's Weir past Gleason's and Black Weir, almost up to the Ross River Dam and back again. It was a wonderful outdoor adventure which even included a couple of crocodile sightings. In this video, you'll see what we got up to on the day. Oh shit, oh shit, I'm gonna run into you. <laughs> oh shit. I'm with Adrian and we're on our way to Ross River in Townsville to paddle up and down in the kayaks. Should be a fun morning. The most important part of the mission, the coffee. Cheers. Thanks dude. Cheers. No worries. Let's do it. The plan is to start here at Aplin's Weir and we'll kayak up the Ross River as far as we can before turning around and coming back. I'm in the Ross River and ready to go. Adrian suspects we can paddle into this spot here and do a bit of a loop through, uh, but it seems a little bit reedy. Yes, definitely too many reeds. It's Mount Stewart and it's glassy reflection in the Ross River. The water looks crystal clear and glassy from the top, but it's not so clean. Let's take a look underneath. Along the way, we took a couple of detours into some of the river's inlets, just to be adventurous and to see if we could spy any turtles or crocodiles or other such wildlife. But there were none in this inlet, so we turned back and continued up the river. We're about two and a half kilometers through the journey and we're just coming under the Nathan Street Bridge now. Probably about two and a half kilometers to go to the next weir. I just paddled my way through these reeds because Adrian told me it's possible to eat the seeds from this water lily here. I'm not game to try, but it's interesting to see that there's some bush tucker along the way. What followed was a very peaceful 20 minute paddle along the banks where we encountered a goose before stopping to check out another small inlet. We stopped at this spot here for a quick rest. I don't know why we chose this spot because it stinks and it's probably full of duck shit. <laughs> Probably the only ones. <laughs> Somebody lost a thong. We arrived at Gleason's Weir, and now we have to figure out a way to get the kayaks up and above to the next section of the river. Thank you, bro. And we're getting ready to set off for the next leg until we reach the third and final weir, probably about two and a half kilometers upstream. Actually, Black Weir turned out to be just over a kilometer away. It's the grandest of Ross River's three weirs, and it was pretty awesome to see it from this perspective. We were gonna try to get our kayaks up here, but it doesn't seem so feasible, so we're gonna try the other side instead. It was a bit of a pain to haul the kayaks up here, but we caught a glimpse of a turtle at the top. We've had a quick rest in a protein bar, and now it's time to take off the next leg of the adventure. We're well past Black's Weir now. It's been about eight kilometers since we started our journey, and we think there's another six or seven kilometers to go until we reach the end of the river, which is the Ross River Dam, but we're just not quite sure how far up exactly we can make it in the kayaks. So we'll try to get as far as we can and then head back. Don't go too fast, Adrian. <laughs> six knots. Stick to the speed limit. We've just passed the Ring Road Bridge, and I believe that means we're now in Rasmussen. Is that right? Yep. Rasmussen just up there. What I like about this stretch of the river since we passed the last bridge is that it's a lot wider up here and it's also a lot less developed. There's substantially less houses by the banks of the river compared to when we were in the more central area of Townsville. I mean, there's Rasmussen to the right and then to the left, there's nothing. It's just bush. Uh, give it maybe 10 years and there's gonna be development up here. But for the time being, it's very peaceful. It's very calm. It's very wild. And it makes for a really beautiful kayak. I'm really enjoying this adventure. What do you think, Adrian? Yeah, it's really good. I fucking love it. We're contemplating whether or not to stop under these trees or to keep going up to the next boat ramp, which we believe is about two or 300 meters away. 
uh, we're going to do that because it'll be nice to get out of the kayaks and stretch our legs and eat some beef jerky. Some really beautiful landscape by the banks here. I love it. Here's another one of the lotus flowers that I tried to stop and talk about earlier. This tiny island behind me here by the boat ramp actually has a name. It's called Loam Island. We made it 11 and a half kilometers up the Ross River and it's really nice to just chill here for a couple of minutes and eat some beef jerky. Love it. Found a piece of snake skin on the ground while we were having our lunch. It was a very nice rest there at Loam Island Park. Now back into the kayaks and we'll continue. How many more kilometers do you think, Adrian? Five. At least five. At least five. Plus upstream until until we can go no further. Off to the side here is the Riverway Rowing Club. I notice in this section of the river there's a lot more gum trees lined up along the banks. It's really beautiful. It was right here where Adrian spotted a crocodile. I see. I see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we found a crocodile. Little freshy. Doesn't even care that you're there. Certainly was not expecting to see a crocodile today. It's a fresh water, so it's not aggressive. It's not going to attack me, I hope. Uh, but I've never seen a, a wild crocodile in Townsville before. This is really something else. We thought that was a croc too, but no, it's just a log. I swear, every log we pass like this, we think is a crocodile now. That little wallaby was risking his life being so close to the shores of the river. Next time he'll be crocodile food if he's not careful. Now I wonder about these buildings that are so close to the edge of the water. Surely in the wet season they'll get flooded out. We're about 16 kilometers down now and we're so far away from civilization that it seems very wild and untamed up this area. <laughs> you can do it. White water champion, Adrian Chowman. <laughs> well done. Walk in the canoe up the river to make this final little stretch. Probably won't be able to get so much further than this. We're at the 16.82 kilometer mark and we can't get past this little set of rapids here so we decided to call it. We're gonna head back down, back down to Aplin's Weir. It's been about five and a half hours on the kayak so far today. I anticipate it's going to take another five and a half hours to get down to the car. So this has been a lot of fun. What do you think, Adrian? Yeah, good. All right, let's do these rapids. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I'm going to run into you. Oh shit. Very good. We're both stuck. What a great lot of use that was. Yeah, Ross River Rapids. How are your arms feeling, Adrian? Oh, a bit cracked. Yeah, mine too. I think, I think they're gonna be completely screwed tomorrow on the day after. Yeah. See? You see? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Another croc. Where is it? Baby freshwater croc. We stopped here at the boat ramp to reapply some sunscreen and we found this little memorial to a guy called Luke Brendan Powell. RIP Luke. It's a very welcome sight to see the ring road bridge just up ahead, getting very sore and ready for a substantial meal. And we're on the other side of this damn bridge. That's a really good feeling. We're getting this pretty brutal headwind as we paddle down towards Black's Weir. This is rough. All right, and we're pulling into Black's Weir now. We've got the kayaks here by the side of the weir. Now we're gonna go get some food from the Riverview Tavern. It hurts. I can't even hold my phone in selfie mode. It hurts so much. So we're at the Riverview Tavern. Unfortunately, the kitchen is closed. So it's beer and chips for lunch. So cheers. Cheers. Thank you. As a side note, I don't know what I've done to the Twisties recipe recently, but these taste terrible. I used to love Twisties. They're disgusting. Smith's Food Company, get your shit together. Improve the twisties. Our impromptu lunch at the Riverview Tavern is done. And we estimate it's gonna take us an hour to an hour and a half to get back to the car. I cannot express to you how sore my arms are right now. 
the pain that I'm in just from holding my camera in selfie mode right now is incredible. We're back below Black's Weir, now off to Gleason's Weir before we get to the home stretch. Beautiful view there in the background of Mount Stewart. Back at Gleason's Weir, the home stretch. I just counted 777 strokes of the paddle in one kilometer. So that's gonna come in handy later on when I try to estimate the total number of paddles on this journey. If you're interested in paddling along Ross River, I totally recommend it, even if you're a beginner at kayaking. What Adrian and I did was pretty ridiculous. We were out for nearly 10 hours. Of course you don't have to do 32 kilometers. I personally think the nicest part was from Aplin's Weir to Gleason's Weir, which you could accomplish in a few hours. Otherwise, the southern section of the river around Loam Island in Rasmussen was really beautiful as well. We didn't get east of Aplin's Weir, but that's heading towards the river's mouth where you may be in danger of coming across saltwater crocodiles. Personally, I'm happy to keep it to freshwater for now. There's Aplin's Weir. We can finally see it. Jeez, we're nearly home. That's it. I'm done. No more kayaking for today. Done. All right, we left the river and just a quick note on the stats. So we did 31.43 kilometers in just under 10 hours. It was nine, nine hours, 47 minutes. And according to my calculation, that would be 24,421 strokes of the paddle. My God, I'm completely, completely shattered. I think I'm gonna be sleeping for the next three or four days. How do you feel, Adrian? Pretty knackered. All right. Do it again? Do I do it again, actually. Uh, I said for Mount Halifax that I wouldn't do it again. Jay, would you do that again? No. Nah. Same. No. Nah. Fuck that. But for the kayaking, I would do it again. I would just leave it at least two weeks until I try <laughs> another time. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, kayaking adventure along Ross River Road. See you next time for the next one. Ciao.